My name is Zinnia, and I will be discussing the role of occupation in the promotion of health in occupational therapy. As occupational therapists, we see the importance for an individual to engage in daily occupations to promote health and well-being. This includes participating in activities of daily living, instrumental activities of daily living, health management, rest and sleep, education, work, play, leisure, and social participation. It is important to support clients who are experiencing a condition to engage in these areas to their fullest potential by keeping what is meaningful to them in consideration for promotion of health. For example, individuals di diagnosed with anxiety disorders, such as panic disorders, which are sudden attacks of fear, phobias, which are irrational fears, agoraphobias, which are when a person avoids places due to fears, or generalized anxiety disorder, which is excessive worrying. They experience a huge impact on their occupational performances. Individuals with anxiety disorder will experience limitation in social participation, attention, self-control, activities of daily living, education, work, leisure, sleep, taking care of pets, taking care of children, and home maintenance. To prevent anxiety disorders, it is recommended to engage in physical exercise, deep breathing exercises, relaxation training, a balanced diet, journaling, and in a study by Stapp and Lamford, yoga was recommended to be an effective intervention to reduce anxiety in fifth graders due to an increase in expectations of academic performances. Family members can experience a burden when related to a person experiencing anxiety disorders. This is due to the lack of social participation and lack of interest in family rituals. In a study by Van der Sanden et al. in 2016, it reflected that family members experience the psychological distress and lower quality of life. When considering the family, it is important to educate them on how to encourage the individual to incorporate self-soothing or po positive coping techniques learned from occupational therapists. It is also important to educate the family on the condition and symptoms of when the family member is experiencing an anxiety attack. For example, increased heart rate, sweating, feeling of choking or numbness, excessive worrying, difficulty managing the worrying, unexplained nervous energy, irritability, and sleep disturbances. By being able to recognize these signs, they can move forward to help them when in need. Thank you for your time.